India's space agency is celebrating the successful moon landing of its Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. Viewers in the control room erupted into cheers as the landing module touched down. It is the first ever landing on the moon's unexplored South Pole. India's Prime Minister watched the landing remotely and celebrated in modest fashion. A solar-powered rover will now explore the uncharted lunar region for the next two weeks. India's success comes just days after Russia's Luna 25 craft crashed into the moon. And just after the lunar lander touched down, Prime Minister Narendra Modi hailed it as a historic achievement. India's successful moon mission is not just India's alone. This is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, one future is resonating across the globe. Amrita Chima is head of DW's Delhi Bureau and earlier she gave me a sense of the atmosphere in India today. Well, the mood here, Gerhard, is, can be described in one word, absolutely euphoric. Now, there was a lot of excitement and, and leading up to this touchdown, there was also a mixture of nervousness along with that excitement because as we saw that much could go wrong and it did go wrong for the Lunar 25. So people were really worried and with in the end, it was a perfect touchdown. So huge euphoria. Now, the head of the Indian Space uh, Program, S. Sobhnath, described the situation when it took place, and he said, India is on the moon. And India was over the moon when they heard this news. He looked very calm in the lead up to this touchdown. But he later spoke to journalists and said it had been a tough journey, that they went through a lot of pain and agony. And he also said there were lots of scientists who hadn't slept for one year. So he thanked everybody who was part of this journey. And especially, he said, those unsung heroes who worked so hard but were not in the limelight today. So a big day for the Indian space program and a big day for India, yes. So why are people so emotionally invested in this rather technological feat? Well, it is a big achievement by all standards, uh, Gerhard. After all, only three countries had managed to land on the moon before India. India's become the fourth, and it's landed on the south pole of the moon, which is completely unexplored. So by all standards, that is a huge achievement. But of course, one also has to say that India has a very young, aspirational, and vibrant population. And they feel very proud to be part of such an achievement, because it shows them that India has a future, and it is is moving in on, on a trajectory where it can compete internationally and that gives them a sense of pride and of course one must also add there's also a sense of what people describe as muscular nationalism involved we saw how the prime minister watched this from afar he was at the BRICS summit in south africa but he tuned in and within seconds of the touchdown he was addressing the nation and he described this achievement as a, the new dawn of a new india but he also of course mentioned and that was very gracious, that it was not just India's achievement, but an achievement of all of humanity. But there's definitely a link between the success of this mission being made and the national pride of India. Samrita Chima there reporting from Delhi. Thank you very much, Amrita. And Sushmita Ramakrishnan is here in the studio with me from DW Science. So let's sort of dive a bit deeper into, into this topic. India is the first country to successfully land on the south pole, if you will, of uh, the moon. Why focus uh, the focus on this area? Uh, scientists have estimated that the south pole contains ice and this is super important in moon exploration because we believe that when there is ice, there's possibility for life. Uh, the chances that we may even be able to build a permanent station later in the South Pole if there's water. Or if we were going to land in other planets, having ice here would mean this is how we study it. We get a template of how to study extraterrestrial mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, terrains, basically. 
Now, uh, the lander has now landed. Uh, what's planned for the next days? Um, just as we speak, it is likely that uh, the rover is coming out of the lander and getting onto the surface of the moon. This rover has two spectrometers in it. One which uh, surveys uh, what minerals are there in it, the other which looks at what metals are there in it, and the lander itself, Vikram. Um, this contains uh, different equipments to study whether there are moon quakes, uh, whether uh, the temperature under the surface of the moon is hot or cold. Once we know the temperature, we know a lot more about the subterranean levels of the moon. Um, and additionally, we also uh, get to know about the composition of the moon and we get images from the camera, obviously. Mm, so um, lots uh, of stuff to do for that little uh, machine there. Now, and Modi called it a historic day for, for India and for, for all humanity. Uh, but what does this mean, this success, for India's space program and also for India's global reputation? The last, uh, out of the last five lunar landing missions that were sent globally, four of them failed, including Luna 25 and the predecessor to Chandrayaan, Chandrayaan 2, it crashed. Uh, so after nearly half a century, for the first time, any country in the world is putting something in the moon. Um, so in that sense, it's a technical achievement for India. Uh, additionally, uh, India wants to expand its private space market. And uh, the current ruling government has been very keen on inviting private players to uh, participate with ISRO's space activities and having uh, sent Chandrayaan to the moon and having a successful landing with Vikram today, it is a big step in terms of uh, private space also coming into the Indian market of space. Mm. Also, it's a very emotional thing for uh, the, the whole country, right? Well, how did you see that experience? Absolutely. This? I think uh, uh, there was a kind of mass hysteria and I, I would not be exaggerating when I say this. Almost every person I know was hooked to the TV uh, watching the uh, mission succeed today. Um, I, I really hope that the data that we get from this is commensurate to the uh, hype that we've had. Let's hope so. Thank you uh, very much. Our science reporter, Sushmita Ramakrishnan, thank you. Thank you.